So I'm going to show you how I cut my individual strips of batting um, from my batting on the roll. So initially, I will cut it from this really, really large roll, and I use my laser leveler to try to give me a nice even cut. After that, I bring it to my cutting space, and we're going to take this into two and a half inch strips because that's what I use for my jelly roll rugs. So once you have your large cutting space ready, you'll make sure you have a good safe cutting mat to put that on. What I wanna check first is where on this strip is my batting still connected. So all the other sides of this has it where it's split into two. I wanna make sure that I keep this part where it's folded over in one piece intact because that's gonna keep my strips as long as possible. So once I've opened this up and I've identified where it's not broken up, I hope that makes sense, where it's still all together, I wanna keep that side in front of me so I know when I'm cutting my strips, I'm not cutting those pieces. And I'm gonna cut, and I'm gonna fold this over four times. So let me go ahead and lay that over. And I'm wanting to pretty much eyeball it. I want to keep it as even as possible. Let me pick this up. Now a lot of times picking it up and kind of wiggling <laughs> helps because you don't want to have any creases when you fold. That's going to give you those really jagged edges. We want nice smooth strips. Let's see. So now that I have this nice and folded, let me back it up. I have it folded over four times. So I have my one long strip, I fold it in half, and then I folded it over again. Because I use my laser leveler when cutting, I've gotten better at the ends of this being more even. It's still not perfect, but it's a little better. Let me go ahead and get this ready. Now what I use to cut, I am spoiled. My, this is just a plexiglass piece that my dad cut for me. So this is already measured at two and a half inches. And this is what I use when I go through and I cut. Now my first cut is always funky because I'm wanting to even out that opposite end. So I'm cutting with a hand that's not my dominant hand. After I get that even, then I get to use my dominant hand. Now what I'm looking for is just to even out all the edges on the end right here. And this is where people start to look at me funny. Because this is so many layers of batting, it's very thick. I don't hold my rotary blade like a regular rotary blade. I kind of put it in a stabbing motion. So if I'm using a straight rotary blade, I'm gonna hold it like this so I can push down as hard as I can to get through all those layers. Recently, I started to use the True Cut rotary blade, and for this one, I keep it in the position that it is. No matter what, no matter which one I use, I wanna use a 60, because I have so many layers that I'm needing to push down on. So, let me grab one of them, and again, I go a little slower, because this one isn't my dominant hand, but I'm wanting to push down on this plexiglass and I'm just going to even out this cut. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And this one always gives me the hardest time because it feels weird. How's it working for you? Oh, it's doing good. Okay, now that I've evened up this side, you can see it's pretty minimal as far as the waist that I have. Now here's where I get more comfortable. Now I get to switch over to my dominant hand. And I'm just gonna put this into place and just slice and dice. See if I can get, let me move you guys down a little so you can see just a little better. All right, now from here, I'm just lining up that plexiglass and I'm pushing down here. And again, I'm doing my little stabbing motion and I'm just gonna keep it going. And I'm doing this on repeat all the way through. Now, since I was really mindful of where that fold was, you'll see that just one of these strips is going to be a significant, I mean, is this <laughs> opened up again. So I get really nice long strips out of this, which works out great. So even though 
I despise doing this. It's probably one of my least favorite things to do. It is way more cost efficient and it's really not that bad. Whenever I feel like before I do it, it's gonna take forever, but in all actuality, it really isn't that bad. It goes by pretty quick. I hope that helps. That's what I do just whenever I'm cutting all my batting strips in bulk to get ready for my next project.